Hi, this is Jack Wood here with the Ego 11. Just going to have a quick look at the SL3 inline reg. Um, I know this regulator has been out on the SLS from last year and uh, also on the GO2 now, but we haven't done a video on it and haven't done a, a look at the inside of it. So I'm quickly going to pull it apart, let you have a look at the inside. Um, main feature with the new reg is uh, the fact that you can use a high pressure tank, low pressure tank. Um, it doesn't make any difference to the output pressure of the regulator. You can actually run down to about the last couple of hundred PSI in the tank um, without it directly affecting the velocity. You may still get a bit of shoot down when you get that low, uh, but that's purely because most of the tanks that are out there can't actually um, recover from shot to shot quick enough. Um, the inline regulator can, it's just that the tanks actually at that low pressure can't supply enough air to this regulator. It can't make air on its own, so uh, it just has to work with what it's got. But single shot velocity, even down at 200 psi, will be pretty much exactly the same um, as it was at 4500 psi. So that, that's the beauty of the new regulator. It's also really simple, uh, easy to clean, easy to take off the gun. Um, it's got a new adjuster, new piston, new spring in there. Um, two different springs, one for an Ego and one for a Geo. So we can't take one regulator straight off one gun, off an Ego and put it onto a Geo and vice versa because you have the wrong spring in there. Um, built into the regulator it obviously has the, um, the, the self-purging feature that we've been using for the last few years. So every time you degas a gun it releases all the air from the gun. On an Ego, does sometimes confuse people, uh, it, it empties everything that's in the valve chamber, everything that's in the firing chamber, inline rig and oops, obviously uh, pops comes out. Um, the only thing it doesn't release air from is the LPR. The LPR will still store uh, enough for half cycle, so you can switch the gun on and it'll push the bolt forward. It won't fire a ball, there's no air actually trapped inside the valve chamber, um, just what's inside the LPR and the solenoid. So with that, I'm just going to quickly pull this off. Just to unscrew the regulator from the front of the gun. Take the hose out. Obviously got the new swivel fitting um, on this one, angled. Just uh, as another aside, uh, I didn't show it when I was doing the, the POPs video but to remove the fitting, 332 key up the centre, slide it out, see there's a captured o-ring on there, doesn't require any Loctite, just screw straight in. Nip it up, all that's required. Um, taking the reg apart, take off the top section, got the regulator spring, and sliding out from the top, got the reg piston. That all just sits in the top half of the regulator. In the bottom half, um, we've got one eighth adjuster. Obviously, as we've been doing for the last couple of years now, you've got a, a plus and minus actually on the reg bottom to tell you which way to turn it to set it. Screw the adjuster all the way out and it pops out of the top. Take that out. The adjuster is now a much bigger unit. The reg seat is actually built into the adjuster now. It's not part of the end of the piston, that's just a tube now. The piston is just uh, tubular. To split this and get at the reg seal, which is replaceable, take something through the through the slots of the adjuster. Unscrew the top section from the bottom section. The top part has a um, captured o-ring on the inside and o-ring on the outside. In the reg bottom itself you see you have the reg seal, it's a moulded reg seal urethane reg seal. That just slides out. It's flippable so you can put it in either way so if you get any debris or dirt gets in there and damages that then you can just flip it over and put it back in. There are two other pieces inside there 
Um, this is part of the purge mechanism. A little tiny piston and a spring. It's not designed to come out. You can pull it out if you want to. Inside there, little spring piston. That's just the part of the self-purging mechanism. Drop that in, drop the seal in, push that down into place. Screw top half of the register on. Just knit that up. Another thing while I got the swivel off, actually I'll put that back inside there first. Finger on the end, push it down while you screw it out. From ego 11, dial it all the way out, and then go in about four and a half turns. One, two, three, four and a half. Um, another thing that's going to make it a lot easier for all you colour swappers out there is that the um, new swivel just slides straight off the reg bottom. No need to take the fitting out in order to get the reg swivel and bottom separated. Just come apart and clip back together. Top section goes back on. It goes back onto the gun. Let's fit it back on. It's all back together. So very simple, uh, pretty much the only maintenance you'd need to do on a regular basis would be um, O-ring at the top of the piston and a large O-ring at the top of the piston, a bit of grease on that, put a, a bit of grease on the, the, the bottom of the shaft where it slides into the uh, adjuster and that's it. So there you go, that was the SL3 regulator, um, standard on the GO2, EGO11 and the SLS last year, so uh, hope you enjoyed that, cheers.